In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Facebook Pixel in your MailChimp landing pages. It's coming up next. Facebook Pixel is a piece of code that you get from your Facebook Ads Manager and that code you can put on several places. You can put it on your website, and in this case, we're gonna be putting it on our landing page. Now, what that code does, it allows you to track visitors that go to those particular pages through back to your Facebook Ads Manager. You get statistics, you get uh, analytics on that, and you can also use it for retargeting or creating a lookalike audience or customer audience. So those are great reasons why. Now there's some caveats here using the Facebook Pixel and that is to make sure that you have an up-to-date privacy policy explaining to people that you actually use the Facebook Pixel, explaining to people what that means. And if you're using GDPR on your MailChimp, make sure that you're communicating out in your mail list that you are accepting or that you have to check off uh, online advertising so people understand exactly what that means and that you'll be using the Facebook Pixel or already are using the Facebook Pixel for your uh, mail list so that they know that, that they know exactly what that means and that they can opt out of it. Now with all that being said, I'm going to show you how to install the Facebook Pixel on your landing pages. Now if you don't already have a Facebook Pixel created, through your Facebook Ads Manager. They're super easy to do. If you go through the MailChimp Ads, Facebook Ads process, uh, you can set up your Facebook Pixel ID that way. If not, you can go over to your Facebook Ads Manager. Now, how you get there is facebook.com slash ads manager, and I'll put this link in the description below so you can click directly to it. Uh, and it'll probably ask you to some information if you already don't have an ads account through Facebook. Once you have it, what you'll need to do is just do a quick search for pixels or pixel. It'll open up a new page and here you'll get a visual prompt to click uh, create a pixel and it'll probably be a little green button, and it literally takes about two seconds. You're basically just giving it a name, and it spits out the information that you need. Now for the connection to MailChimp, all you need is this Facebook ID that is created right here in the corner. That's all you need to carry over to MailChimp. So I'm gonna copy that just for now. Now that we have our pixel created, and we have our pixel ID copied, we're going to go over to our campaigns. Now, if you already have a landing page created like I do in this test, you'll have to unpublish it. And we'll have to click in on publish here. Then click edit. And it will look something like this down here at the very bottom. It'll say settings and tracking. It says you're not tracking with MailChimp, you're not tracking with Facebook Pixel, and you're not tracking with Google Analytics but I am recapturing. You wanna click on edit. Now, you'll get a prompt here to accept additional terms, and I highly recommend that you actually read through what those additional terms are before you actually click accept, especially when it's other people's data so that you fully understand it, okay? Now, once you have accepted that, it'll look like here, and it'll also let you know that you can let site visitors know about any tracking with a notification bar and they've included, uh, the, we've included default text in it and we can replace it with our privacy policy and terms. That's a good idea uh, on some of these landing pages. You should have at the very bottom a link to your privacy policy. So just be up and up with the people who are joining your mailing list and whatever you're giving away or products that you're selling, okay? You want to click on track with Facebook Pixel. And here again, we're going to use our existing ID. Now I've already put mine in here. And we're going to click on save. And that's all that is to that. And that's how easy that is. And once you're done, we're going to click on publish. We're going to go to the test URL that I have the setup on. 
okay? Now, I have this uh, Chrome extension up here called the Facebook Pixel Helper. And it wasn't working for me a couple of days ago, but I had to manually update Chrome and it started working again so I could do this video for you. And if you click in here, it'll tell you what pixels are on that we've just created. So this one's called a page view. So anyone that comes to this page, it will record on your ads manager. And also it's capturing some micro data being automatically detected. Now you could go in here and you can see here that it's, it's adding the meta title. This is a test. So this is the title of my landing page. This is a test. So it's capturing that information. You can go back into your pixel, uh, into your ads manager and fine tune what data you want to capture from your landing pages. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but this is just to give you a quick snapshot of how to set up the Facebook pixel on your MailChimp landing page. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like. And if you're new here, please click the subscribe and the bell icon so that you get immediately notified when a new video goes up on the channel. And to know more about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.